Hey everyone, uh, bought a collection of Blinko glass uh, for resale and uh, thought I'd put them out and uh, show you guys. Uh, Blinko, B L E N K O, is uh, uh, out in uh, West Virginia. Um, still in business, surprisingly. Uh, I figured they would have went the uh, went the way of Fen Glass and gone out of business, but uh, they're still in business, still making stuff, um, and uh, pretty collectible. I really love this picture. Look at that. It's a moose. I bet. Um, if I put a black light on that, it'd probably glow. It's got that look to it. And we're starting to get a little bit of rain. Looks like I'm not going to get uh, get too many pictures taken out here. Uh, so, uh, bought the lot. Not the decanter. The decanter is something I had uh, before. But the uh, um, eight pieces here uh, paid $100 for the lot. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and break them up into uh, uh, separate pieces. I sell them individually. Be easier to uh, ship anyway. Um, I really hate it when people buy two big pieces of glass and then they want to combine them into one box for shipping. Uh, I just feel, well, it makes for a big box. And uh, I just feel uncomfortable doing that. So we'll uh, we'll get them listed. This pattern's called uh, Amberina. Um, I guess this one would be the same. It's red, but it's got like that orangey handle. Love the uh, the crackled glass. This one, pretty sure, isn't Amberina, uh, but the rest of them are. They got that uh, shading from yellow to red. Uh, the decanters do really well. Uh, I didn't realize it though, but this top does not go with this decanter. Um, they have uh, they have lots of catalogs online where you can look and you can clearly see that this bottom never came with this top. So I wonder if that would fit over here. No. <laughs> uh, so probably end up selling. I didn't realize it until I listed it, uh, so it definitely hurts the value. I'll probably end up selling the top uh, separately uh, from the bottom. Uh, but Blinko Glass, uh, be on the lookout. Uh, they're usually unmarked, but uh, you can see the mark where, they, uh, where it was hand blown. Um, they never really polish that out. Uh, that's one giveaway of uh, Blinko. Uh, every once in a while you find a piece that's marked, but usually it's unmarked. Uh, that's a cool piece there. So, uh, I think there's money to be made. I'm not a Blinko expert, but uh, uh, I think there's definitely... Uh, hopefully we're looking at $500 for the 8. Somewhere around there. Um, so, uh, Blinko Glyphs, be on the lookout. Uh, I can make you some money.